Once the opportunity arose for him to close the show, he did it in emphatic style. Whatever he hits, falls. Andrew McCart, IFL TV, in association with MTK Global. I'm here at MTK Scotland. With me, I've got Big Shawnee Mac, Sean McComb. How are you, buddy? Mac. All good, all you good. good. Long time no see, mate. How's life? Ah, oh, it's still, still going well. Uh, still undefeated. Still undefeated. Still as mad as ever. And still twixes with a cup of tea. No doubt, every night. Every night, every night. Yeah. Sponks are struggling. I've cracked it. I've cracked it. You've cracked it. I'm six right, foot. Right. I'm super lightweight and I'm going to have a twix every night with a cup of tea. You need to write a book, your secret. Powerful, lad. Uh, powerful. Well, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's do it. Uh, another tough opponent, probably another step up in class. Uh, you, you're, you're slowly but surely getting the, the tougher, tougher opponents. You're facing Emiliano Dominguez. Dominguez. Dominguez Rodriguez. Rodriguez. I'm, I keep getting these names wrong, man. I'm going to get slaughtered. But tough opponent for yourself. Uh, just talk to myself about the fight. I've watched a wee bit of him. Um, I've seen he fought for a world title, Levy World title, he was unlucky. Tough fight against another South Boy he lost against. Uh seen bits and bobs of him, not much, but just I just believe again I've just too much for him. Um no he doesn't his speed doesn't even match mine in the slightest. Um he's durable and he's 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 tough but I believe that could be his downfall. Are you, are you hoping to get rounds in against, I mean you got the rounds in against Garrido, are you one of them fighters, are you bored about the stoppages or you uh, don't, just, care, like, don't care? Performance is more, performance in the wins doesn't, that's it. If you win and you put on a great performance, your confidence goes up, your confidence goes up in your fitness as well as your muscle endurance and, and your skill over eight rounds if you're able to do it. Like, like I done with Garrido, I didn't stop him, which would have been a good statement to have stopped him, obviously he's never been stopped. Um, but to get the eight rounds in at that pace and, and only eight fights as well. You know, exactly, only me a fight and uh, it was a high, high tempo fight. It uh it scrubs out a lot of question marks people made a had going, can he fight at that pace for so long or eight or eight rounds? Mm -hmm. and, and to be honest I was well capable of doing more on the night. You're back at Ulster Hall, back in Belfast, I mean eh, uh, nothing like fighting in Belfast for yourself, is powerful. it? It's good, good it's about what it's Ten minutes drive in the town from where I live, like just live just out, outside the city and Belfast is a small place anyway, like but the boxing is booming at the minute, it's so loud again. Ulster Hall so loud, I've sold out all my tickets. I believe Paddy and every other fighter's done the same. It's a smashing bill. You've Terry Flanagan mm -hmm. uh, on the bill from Manchester. I believe he's a bit of a um he's some family mm -hmm. from, Belfast from Belfast as well. Yeah. So Massive, massive opportunity again for me to show my skill in front of my own crowd. And after the fail of there, um, uh, again, I had a lot more support than I usually do. Um, I believe I, I turned a lot of heads on the night of fail. I put on a massive performance, and uh, everyone's starting to buy into me now. And sort of believing that I'm maybe becoming the real deal. The real deal. Well, let's talk about being the real deal. I mean, super light the weight division is no joke. I mean, there's the world champions you've at the moment are probably some of the best world champions we've got in world boxing, you've yeah. got your, your stable mate Sam Maxwell, WUP, and you've got Tyron McKenna, WBC International. When can we see you with one of these titles? I mean, I keep harping on about it, but are you itching for it? Nah. You don't give a shit. That, <laughs> I really don't. Right don't give a fuck. It's, uh, it's boxing. I'm winning, and that's it. That's it. See, <laughs> winning to me, it's the same feeling as winning as it is winning the title. It's nice to have something around you while you win, like a belt of some sort, but like when you know, like, like when you know they're gonna come, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? It's not like I'm a big ratio. I need to get these now before someone else gets them, because I know for a fact that no one else is gonna get them. At the end of the day, I'm gonna end up with all the belts, and that's what I believe in myself. Like, obviously, your confidence is sky high. I mean, every time I talk, you're probably not the mo you're not laid back. You're just it's probably right to say you don't give a shit. I don't. I don't. You, like you, as long as you've got a, as long as you've got a fight date and an opponent, <coughs> you're you're happy with that. It that's seems it. like I'm just. I asked MTK at the start of my career, keep me busy, keep me in the gym, and they've done just that. I guess it's be, this is just over, just over a year now, mm -hmm. pro eight no, we'll be finishing the year, hopefully ten or no, and uh, sets me up for a massive twenty twenty. And I'm, I'm full time. Like I'm in this gym, I'm here a lot more, and I'm home. Like I get two week rest max before I'm back here after each fight, and it's exactly where I want it. Even at the, at the top level, if I, if I progress on the top level, that's the way I want to be. Kept. I don't want to go and take a five, six, seven, eight week break and then come back and start all over again. I just want to keep continuously going. Like a conveyor belt. 
Running to be grass, running to be grass, running to be grass. That's all I need. So I mean, you fought in Belfast the last number of times. So when you say you conveyor belt, are you bored about you, you, if they told you to fight in Newcastle, London, Manchester? It doesn't bother you. It doesn't bother me. Oh, that's a stupid question. Nothing bring, bothers you. I'll bring a, I'll bring a decent crew with me too. If I'm gonna put them on the way daily, um, uh, you'll hear some head cases from Belfast. You know what they need to do. Huh? The MTK need to put uh, an it, event in Ibiza. Uh, uh, on Ibiza. <laughs> yeah. That's a mad one there, and I were talking. I'll have a whole of Belfast. Oh, you'll be headlining it? Oh, aye, definitely. And I'll be full, there. Full of whiskey. <laughs> full of whiskey. Now you're talking, now you're no. talking. I mean, you're saying that you don't care about. Well, not that you don't care about titles and that, but they must be in the back of your mind you're thinking about them because, again, your coach Danny sings your praises, your coach Dom sings your praises. I sing your praises when people want to talk to me about you, so. When we talk about you, we say, yeah, he's going to be a world champion. Yeah, he'll be European champion in the next couple of fights, blah, 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 blah. When you look into 2020, you say you're going to be 10 the end of this year. When you look into 2020, where would you like to be? Would you like to have a title? 100%. Like, everyone, you're in, the, you're in this game to win titles. I mean, if you look at the, the elite, the top elite fighters, Lomachenko, second fight, fourth for world title. Did he have to do it? No. Did he want to do it? Of course. He wanted a title. He wanted to be the first ever to win a world title in a second fight. And uh, gnarly lost Paddy to Barnes the season. Paddy Barnes, yeah. fifth fight man for world title. That's what the elite fighters do. I believe you could put me in that bracket, but with my age, there's no rush. So I'm being managed well by MTK. Jimmy Cannon's looking after me well. He's, I believe Jimmy's giving me the right step ups at the right time, right up the nine. And each time, it's just been. It's, I, I would say I fought three journeymen, and the rest have got one on records right up to nine. Mm -hmm. And. Well, even saying that, like the mentioning Paddy and uh, Lomachenko, Josh Taylor, who's in your division, yeah. world champion of yeah, 15, that's five well. fights from where you hope to be into this year. Yeah, of course, like that's it. Like Josh, Josh managed brilliantly as well. I had to mm. give the Wiggins a praises for it, and, and only it. But uh, <laughs> he picked a couple of titles up and said 10 fights. Joe Cardenas on the same thing. Mm -hmm. Joe Cardenas, three titles now as well. I think British come off and WBA, WBA, WBA international. Yeah, so, yeah. That's the way I want to be managed, and the only the only thing is with me is my stablemates have two titles that I possibly could have ran for myself, but they've been in this game a lot longer than me, so it's good to have a, a good bond. And there's no, I'm not bitching about them as winning titles. Why am I not getting that chance? I'm good enough to win that title. They're my stablemates. I'm the later friends to win them titles, and maybe if they push on, like we have Tom McCann in this here. Uh, in this golden, golden contract, contract. Yeah. Sam now going to hopefully push on he's fighting again at the end of the year by the end of the year if them two push on early 2020 they might just uh, vacate them belts and it gives me an, a massive opportunity to, to take to take them two belts myself see what's crazy see when I interview you man I get, I get the serious show on my comb, but see what people <coughs> see on your Instagram and off camera you're probably one of the maddest oh, I sure is <laughs> you have to enjoy yourself too yeah, this is a photo to this is a, a mad roller coaster of a ray, like boxing. It's a short career up. as well. It's mad, it? it's short career. The f people don't realise the shit that happens behind the scenes. Like, it's, it's madness, like fucking people getting injured, cuts. You're just emotional. It's just an emotional roller coaster, up and down, people losing, fucking family problems, and you're mm. in the gym and you're just people. It's madness. I just, I don't give a fuck. I'm just here to enjoy it. Problems are problems. Enjoyment's enjoyment, boxing's boxing. Put it all together and just go fucking mad. Nah, see, this this is broke, see that's, that's, that, that's broken down perfectly. That's I've got to ask you, um, what's it like being on fighting under on Paddy Barnes' undercard? Good, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm happy for me, Mum. Uh, he deserves it. He's fucking three time Olympian, two mm -hmm. time Olympic bronze medalist, two time come off games gold medalist, and a uh, European European champion, European silver medalist. He's an Irish legend, and people seem to forget that. He People are quick to jump on the bandwagon and give him shit because he's lost a, a world title fight in his fifth fight. He fucking dared to be great, fell short. Again, lost again, fighting a bigger guy in New York. People jump on the bandwagon again saying he's done, he's done, he's done. Listen, he's a fucking, he's a superstar. People should be fucking paying more than what they are to watch him. He always puts on a show. Like anyone who watched that fight in New York says it wasn't a great fight, or, or Lars. And, uh, and to be honest, and I'm not just saying this because he's a stable mate, but this is the best I've seen him in a long while since the amateurs, like, in terms of just what he's producing in the gym. Nah, it's just, it's just as if he's he looks brought like all these puzzles well. back mm. together. He's been on the weight, he's, he's been, his dad's been brilliant. And just all the wee small things that he was leaving out when he went pro. Um, in terms of just, it's mad, I don't want to say it because it's, it's, it'll be part of his game plan, but like, it's just stuff that he would have done a lot more in the amateurs. 
that he's just brought on this game himself. I haven't sort of I've seen it myself and I've said him a few times about it. And now he's just been in the sparring and, and watching the spars is just unbelievable. Even watching him with Wazim like there, he would pay good money to watch him and Wazim sparring. Serious sparring. Yeah, I'll make an effort to come into the gym oh, next time. That's one. Class, class, Definitely. Right. I've got to say, look at these uh, these Nike uh, Max. The good gear. Look at that. Look, I've got the yeah, I've got the white ones on, but like uh, them ones will have one last five minutes of me. They'd be fucking black. <laughs> I get them when they're red. You wear them five minutes later. See, be I've black. kept these in good condition you so far. Red. So. But I, I was going to buy the blue ones for New York, but I picked the, the white ones. But at least, I, at least I know I'm still on trend, but I've got young guys like you it, buying man. the same trainers as me. So at least I know I'm still trendy you're as still a old guy. You're still there, lad. You're, at least you're not like the rest of your scats stuck in the 90s. From the back of <laughs> With the kickers and the uh, rock pots on and that. Rock port boots and the fucking see, see, pearl see, Sean, James Sean, boot you're, stuck, you're, you're, in, you're in the West. Uh, Come to Edinburgh. Come to Edinburgh. It's a totally Rats different city. He's glass With ten years ahead. He's glass regions are definitely stuck in the 80s. He's like, <laughs> see, that's my title. If I've you're a glass region. I seen a fella walking down the road last week with a fucking, uh, what do you call it, a Mackenzie tracksuit on, the pair of fucking, I know what his, his mate was wearing a pair of boot cut Ben Sherman jeans. Funny, <laughs> <laughs> see his feet, they were like, like Rick Flores, right there, fuck me. That's, that, that's, that's going to the West Coast, and I'm joking, I, I like nah, the whole squad. It's all good, it's all good. But like I say, Sean, I'll be out in Belfast for your fight and Paddy's fight uh, on the 11th of October. So again, thanks for doing this, 5 yes, TV. We'll and, get uh, a beer, we'll get a beer, yeah. Bang, bang. Bang, bang, gravy chip. There we go. Opportunity arose for him to close the show, and he did it in emphatic style. Whatever he hits, Paul. 